And Lady Brad. <laughs> and Peppermint is here. She's looking. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the holiday edition of uh, Look At Her, the Hey Green After Show, where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens they played with, slayed with, or even laid with, oh. and spills a little tea. <laughs> It's eggnog. <laughs> or throws a little Christmas shade if they've been naughty. Or just tells us something that we don't know. Today, our guest is one of my faves and one of my sis of New York City, Miss Peppermint! <laughs> Formerly of the New York City gummy bears. That's right, darling. I've since had a, gotten a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gummy Bears, not thrilled. <laughs> Lady Red, Merry Christmas, sweetie. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you are the, I, this holiday look is just, oh, I'm just loving it. It's pretty. I feel like a hot flower. <laughs> a hot flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look, uh, it's the go-go's of Christmas past, present, and future. Wow. Oh. Wearing traditional gray <laughs> sweatshorts. <laughs> oh. Holiday should have yeah. it. Merry Christmas to Gerg is the word. Yeah. And DJ Christian. Yeah. Now hop your little go-go asses right out into the snowbank. <laughs> oh no, no, they're having a snowball fight. Wait a minute, uh, those oh, are not snow. snow. Ah! It's not snow. <laughs> <laughs> That's not snow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peppermint, finally we got you here to play this game that I know you know oh how to play. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm ready. Gird your loins, darling. <laughs> Let us begin. Look at ho, ho, ha. Oh, oh this bitch, this whore. <laughs> this plastic bitch. <laughs> my sis. Trinity the Talk Taylor. Mm, another crowned queen. Another crowned queen. What, in did, exact what did you moment. think of the tie? I thought of the tie. I honestly thought it was the. It was probably. It's not what everyone wanted. I think. I, I don't. I don't know. But I heard a lot of people complaining about it. But I think it was the right move mm. in that moment. The only way to t to change that moment and to have only crowned one queen is to have gone to a, for the World of Wonder producers, to have gone to a time machine, back to season three, uh -huh. and, or four, whatever season it was beforehand, season four of uh, All Stars. What was the season? That was season that four. That was season four. four. So season three, back to season three of All Stars, and rearrange how they would have done that crowning. And right. I think the two, <laughs> the minute they crowned uh, Trixie Mattel, they crowned the two queens. <laughs> right. <laughs> they did, they yes. did the crowning on the same night. And so uh, I think I think that's just what it was. And I think it was um, it was politically kind of what needed to happen. I think that there's probably a lot of pressure that they have when they're mm. figuring out who they're going to crown, who they're going to take off the show, who they're going to put on the show. And so, you know, I don't envy them, but, you know, make the right choice. And I think that they kind of were trying to redeem that. Trinity uh, is a bitch, okay? <laughs> Everybody knows that. And, and that's what we saw on TV. She's a competitive bitch. <laughs> However, a lot of people don't know this, when, when, they, when they were asking us who we thought should be um, Miss Congeniality on our season, my vote was for Trinity. Mm. And she was the one queen that was, she was like, I'm out for blood and fuck all you hoes. But she really was like, I'm gonna send you home and I'm gonna slay just based on the competition. So if you need help, if you need me to help you sew your thing, or oh, your hair's not right, let me get your hair together. She would like make sure that everyone was together. And I relied on Trinity a lot during our season. Wow, that's and, yeah. sweet. She was the sweetest one. She was helping every, she, she had, after the challenge, they give us a certain amount of time and she would be done because she's really fast at sewing. She made every outfit, she did her hair. She was like, whip, whip, done. Bitch don't wear pads or pantyhose, so she didn't have to take any time to get ready. So she was always the first one ready, and she would go around the room and help all the other queens. What? Uh, you know what? She's not naughty. She's, She's nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at him. Shay Coulee oh, with, with Elizabeth, Elizabeth Warren. Warren. What a moment. Yes, Shay. Oh, I love Shay so much. Um, 
we, uh, we are about to embark on a brand new tour together. Um, I think it's announced by now. It's announced by now. It's, uh, it's called the Nubia Tour. Oh. Uh, wow. <laughs> it's the first time everybody's ever said it out loud. Uh, and so we've been planning this tour for a while, and she's, she's a class act. Shay, um, I was really intimidated by her when she walked onto the set. Mm -hmm. I was like, this bitch, she says she's not here to play, she's here to slay, and I'd never really heard that before. <laughs> right. I was like, oh. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not ready to fight, I didn't come in to fight. Uh, she's one of the sweetest and most creative and most fashion aware people that I know. Now, a lot of people said that had it been racked up statistically, had it racked up statistically, uh -huh. she would have been the winner uh, in a traditional season of Drag Race that's without that lip sync wheel. That's true. Be, just prior to, and I'll be, I'll be very honest, I didn't think that I was going to stay after our top four moment. Um, we had our top four show, and traditionally, up until that point, every season up until that point, they'd eliminated the fourth queen, and it would just be three that would go on to the finale, and they would do this, like, lip sync that was pre, kind of pre-choreographed. Right. And so that's, I was like, I'm going home. I was like, I'm, I'm just going home. And, but that, I didn't realize, I didn't know then, that that episode was going to be a singing and, and um, songwriting challenge. And I was like, uh-oh. I got this. Uh huh. And so I think I did pretty well. And you could tell we went in, we filmed. They're like, okay, Peppermint, go home. And I went home. They filmed each of us going home. I was the first, which meant that was the one that they were really kind of <laughs> choosing for. And then I, um, oh, Golden Girls, I just re recognized. Yes. And then, um, Auntie's exclusive. <laughs> yes. And then I, uh, then we were getting out of drag and they're like, wait a minute, come back. And they brought us back in, and they're like, bitch, uh, you're all staying. And, and we're like, okay, they must have just made that decision. So during the finale, Trinity was like, look, we have to be strategic about this. If they spin that wheel, let's make a deal. Peppermint, if it lands on you, you have to choose me. And if it lands on me, I have to choose you. Because out of the four of us, if we, they have to put... We have to eliminate one of us two before we get to the top two, the last one, because they want to see Shay and Sasha lip sync against mm. each other, and they can't do that in the finale. If I had picked Sasha or Shay, they would have eliminated me no matter what. And and Trinity says if they had picked her, they would have eliminated her so that Sasha and Shay could lip sync against each other in the in the final. Right. Um, and so it was very strategic, and she, I think she was right. And so we went against each other to, to make them go against each other in the semifinal so that w one of us would have a chance. Right. Yeah. And that was when you, I mean, we forgot to mention when we were talking about Trinity, <laughs> when you pulled the stunt scene across <laughs> the world only to be upstaged by another stunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I, I kind of thought through it and I was like, okay, let me get this dress, let me get this hair put together. And then um, it was, uh, it was, I wasn't sure how that was going to work out. It was a wing and a prayer and a, and a safety pin <laughs> on that stage. <laughs> and it worked. Own, and I was like, well, there, there's my tricks. That's my gimmicks. That's all I need for the night. And then Sasha Velour scalps herself uh -huh. <laughs> with rose puddles, uh, which you saw, I guess, the last two months ago on Saturday Night Live, uh, Elizabeth Warren. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yeah, I was... Uh, I, that was a crazy finale. But Shay, you're right. Shay was honestly the most solid... Um, scoring person on the season, and so um, I'm excited to see what happens next. next. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at her. Ah, oh, uh -huh. Sasha Valor. Uh, Tell me, did y'all know about the rose petals? And, I had no idea. Uh -huh. I had no idea about her rose petals. Or her rosebuds. <laughs> um, I had I had no idea. I mean, we were all in this huge room for the finale, and we were all kind of focused on our own thing. And so we knew it was obviously the top four of us. So everybody was getting dressed. And then once it was time for the top four to lip sync, the other queens went out into the audience. So we all kind of spread out a bit. And I took a corner, and I was over in the corner with the stuff dripping from the ceiling onto my dresses. How dare uh, they? How dare they put us in the Alex Theater <laughs> dripping. Uh, and, and, um, and I was trying to figure out that outfit, the contraption. So I really didn't pay attention. I saw at one point that she had rose petals in her glove. And 
I was like, oh, well, that's cool. But I just didn't know, like, what, I didn't understand it. Right. And I remember thinking, once I saw it, because uh, the rose petals were before, was when she went against Shay. When I saw it, I actually, I was like, oh, this, this bitch is for real. I gagged, because we had, ne none of us had seen Sasha lip sync during the entire season. And so this bitch is coming with gags and gimmicks, darling. Mm -hmm. And when she pulled that out of her head, I had never seen that before. Like, I've seen people take off their wig, and usually there's another wig underneath or something, or their natural hair, but like baldness and roses. And so I was like, you know, this is too much. I'm quaking in my boots. Um, but we got to know each other. She was probably the person that I was almost the closest with, the person I had a, a really deep connection with um, on our season. We were just like kindred spirits. And so if there was anyone that I would have wanted to have won more than myself, it would have definitely, it was Sasha. And so, you know, it was bittersweet that I w lost, but to see her win, I was honestly really proud of her because I knew that she was gonna have a lot of the same conversations that I would be having had mm. I been the winner. Yeah. And now we're gonna have a chance to do those conversations together on the road in our speaking, college speaking tour. Next She's year. really done a lot She's with her, the crown and yeah. elevated it. Absolutely, you know, really, the, I, I, I get it could get lost in the shadows, but she's as much, um, a, a pro producer and director and artist behind the scenes as she is in front. And so she spent half of the year, more, more than half the year producing this show, Nightgowns, yeah. which went on tour. And I really hadn't seen many other queens doing their, producing their own tours, um, which is what I, we're, I'm doing now with Shea Coulee and Bibi Zaharbonet and some other fierce black queens for Anubia. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's going to be amazing. All right. I'm going to be front row to that. Look at Ha! For part two of Look at Ha, click here. For more incredible episodes of Look at Ha, click down here. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe. <laughs>